25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. Hey, it's been a while, but I do have a good excuse. Over the past few months, I just feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Because I actually did, I lost a piece of my finger. Last year, I built this person tracking airsoft turret. It was my first one, and it was a little rough around the edges. It tracked people sometimes, shot BBs, and through the course of building, it gave me a healthy dose of humility. But today, we're leveling up. And that's because I'm building not one, but three turrets. This time, they're smarter, they're faster, and more intimidating than ever. And you might be thinking, why on earth do you need three person tracking airsoft turrets? I guess I'd just say I don't want people sneaking into my house in the middle of the night. I mean, do you want a bunch of dudes sneaking into your house in the night? What are you, gay? Last year, the reason that I built that other turret was because Tyler wanted me to build one for him so that he could set it up in Eric's house. Look, if you live in Hollywood, you should probably try to protect yourself from the P-Diddlers. I hear they're everywhere. Unlike last time, I actually want to make this one available so that you guys can build it if you want to. I've had a lot of people interested, wanting me to send them my code, all that kind of stuff. Stick around for later in the video, I'm going to explain how you can get your hands on all that stuff. This time, I used black aluminum extrusion with a similar shape to the previous frame. On my Prusa Mark IV 3D printer, I printed out these PLA plates that sit on the bottom the top of the base. These attach to the servo on the yaw axis, and it's what I use to actually turn it from side to side. On the uprights, I designed some brackets to hold up the blocks that house the bearings for this pitch servo. Another big change is that I used an Arduino Nano to save space on the base plate, as well as using a dedicated power supply. Because I was using three of the 35 kilogram servos, I needed a higher amperage output than the Arduino itself could provide. You really should never power a servo directly off of the microcontroller, even though sometimes I've done it in the past. On the software side, I don't want to dive too deep into the technical weeds, but let's just say it's a person tracking system using a Python script that I wrote and OpenCV, sending signals to an Arduino that controls a bunch of servos and makes magic happen. Ooh, okay, it's three in the morning, three or nine in the morning right now. Those are done. This is way less stressful than last time, but honestly, they look so much better. Look how nice those look. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm hoping they're as happy with them as I am. And uh, good night. All right, I've got all three of them set up on the table over here. They're following me. Each one of these laptops is actually running a different version of the software. I had to tune them all separately because all the values are like a little bit different, but they're pretty close. The last thing I need to test is whether the triggers work. I think it's gonna be really loud. I'm gonna hook those up and test that. Like the first one was scary. The one I did last time was super scary and everyone was terrified by it. Three of them is ridiculous. It's insane. They're gonna get so many welts. This is gonna be borderline torture. I don't think they know what they're signing up for, honestly. The crazy part about this is you could literally run this program on Raspberry Pis and for like 300 bucks, you could build as many of these as you wanted. That is so wild. It's so wild. It's so loud. Turai. It's more than one turret, is it Turai? All right, we got it all set up. <laughs> Dude, you got the three dots on you. It's that kind of like triangle symbol, like in the Alien vs. Predator movies, or the... Let's try it. What? You got first? That's right, I'm like, they're just all aiming at your <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's like a double of roasted. No. <laughs> I'm about to roast you, dude. I don't like the height right we got right now. <laughs> if I do get shot, those are all gonna hurt. Dude, this is gonna shoot me right in the. I'll go, I can go first. Out, I guess. I can go first. Is that my auto right now? No. They're full? They're full auto. Uh, uh, you were a little bit quicker than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, I got, oh, I got lit. Oh, my legs. Like several? Okay, yeah, maybe we should make it aim a little higher. No, I don't want to shot in the tenders. <sighs> All right, they're ready. Try it out. Start Brian. 
Oh shoot, I turned on, I forgot to reconnect the triggers. <laughs> <laughs> I got my courage up and it didn't even work. <laughs> they get you? Back of the leg. <laughs> leg, yeah, leg shot. I felt them whizzing around me though. I got grazed in the leg as well, a couple of times actually. I'm gonna try to stand still. And I'm gonna see if just standing still how, how many can hit me. No. I'm Garrick Woods and this is Jack. I'm gonna stand in front of them and see how many it takes to make me bleed. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh, they might be out. Oh shoot. Look, this is just a couple of my own right by it. And for those of you interested in the code, the 3D prints, and all the files, like I mentioned earlier, I've got that all packaged up on my Patreon for my supporters. So go check it out if you want to make your own. I'm going to start putting a lot of my stuff on there because through the process of figuring out a lot of this stuff on my own, I've realized that if I had a good starting point, all this stuff would be a lot easier. And so I want to give that to the people that are supporting me. I'll drop a link for that down below. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got you center back. Oh, oh I feel really bad for the guys that are gonna test this, and if it's the same people as last time, like, I know some of you guys, you're my friends, like, sorry. I'm really sorry. Should I run in front of it? Should I run in front of it? And just like that, the turrets were gone, shipped off to their final destination, where they would prove to be extremely effective in ruining the day of several intruders in Arak's home. Like and subscribe or you want dudes in your house at night. Also go check out the Patreon to support the channel and get my files and code. Put them in the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. This is absurd, take the preserve.